No, it um, it belongs to oh, what's his name? Uh, Jimmy Jimmy Hendrix. Yeah, he was around last night having a bit of a jam with some of his um, um pals, basically. Um, so yeah, anyway, there we. Are. I better get on with this. Right, hello. Sorry about that. Um, so very welcome to the show. Um, ask God. Uh, it's very nice to be. Uh, I trust that you're all well. If you're wondering what this is in the background, well, recently we, we've had installed um, a gateway into Narnia. Um, so that's why that's there. On top, you can see the guitar, and that's why I was just discussing with one of the wings. Um, it is the fact that Jimi Hendrix was around last night having a bit of a jam in Bliss HQ. It was rather nice, a bit of a treat for us. Uh, anyway, I trust you're all well, as you would expect. We've had stacks and stacks of questions come in, um, and just before... I start, I just wanted to read this to you. Oh, nice. Some positive feedback, as Janice calls it. Right. So, dear God, um, I just wanted to thank you for helping me with the issues I've been having lately. It's really much appreciated. Also, I really love the show. Keep up the good work. Love from Georgia. That's rather nice. Thank you very much, Georgia. It's nice to be appreciated, isn't it? And um, it's nice to get feedback like that. It, it, it's really inspiring and encouraging. So, yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And, and so, thank you very much, Georgia. We're glad we were able to help you. So, anyway, aside from the gateway into Narnia, um, we have uh, another announcement. I won't. I won't start. I'll try not to. Okay. Um, so basically, we've rebranded forgiveness. Why? I'll never know. This forgiveness was such a simple term. It, it, it's a bit like Ron said. It does what it says on a tin, doesn't it? Anyway, um, so forgiveness is now called soul cleansing. Sounds like hippie stuff, doesn't it? Oh, I know. Anyway, so soul cleansing. Um, we're doing the whole advertising malarkey um, with it, basically. So let's have a look at what it says. I've got to read it verbatim, apparently, from Janice. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's Janice in marketing, for those who don't know. She's persistent uh, with what we're doing, with the rebranding of heaven. Of course, it's now simply bliss. We've changed a lot of things. We're doing incentives and stuff like that. Um, so in short, um, I'll just read it as it stands. So, right. Um, for soul is that right? Uh, for soul ablution, yes, we've got the solution. Who comes up with it? What? For soul ablution? That, that can't be right. Sorry, absolution or something like that. No, not abolition. Can't be abolition. Abolition would be completely wrong, wouldn't it? Well, no, you can't. Ab abolition with uh, I, I won't go into it anyway um it's so oh god's sake i have to read it verbatim um so it says soul cleanser for soul ablution we've got the solution soul cleanser removes guilt without leaving any nasty, nasty stains what what nasty stains the terms and conditions read the bible apparently but who, who came up with this the focus group there's a shock so right okay well, apparently focus group have been doing their work uh, looking at statistics and everything um in short we had a bit of a crisis meeting the other week um regarding the um, lack of believers in the western hemisphere the eastern is much pretty covered isn't it you know the eastern not happy enough pleasant enough um this the western was uh, the sort of belief is falling away a bit so we had a crisis meeting and hence you know some of these incentives and things so anyway so um what are these nasty stains i'm intrigued I, forgive this just blots everything out basically um blemishes what in a levitical sense was it a new testament sense just have a read of it well i, I, I there's nothing in the bible well, the terms and conditions as you like to call it um that, that suggests there's any nasty stains nasty stains and forgiveness it doesn't it's all mixed doesn't it, it doesn't sound right what Ble blemishes blemishes I, i'm not making the link here i'm ever so sorry um but it can't be levitical surely I, I, we don't want stacks of oxen and that all over the place again causing havoc all the detritus and blood everywhere and sacrificial pyres and things like that no, all good grief, no. It's made a heck of a smell. Um, and lots of blood everywhere. I can't see the point in that myself. Um, we've done away with sacrifices now. No, so no oxen. We don't want unblemished oxen and stuff like that heard in the place. No, no. So it's got to be, um, it's got to be New Testament sort of blemish, isn't it? You know, to, to blot out every sin and transgression. I, I think it's from Ephesians. Am I right? 
yes, Ephesians chapter 5, that's right. So anyway, um, yeah, it says uh, uh, but that it should be holy and without blemish in, in Ephesians. Um, however, I do feel that was rather more to do with church husbandry. Well, being a husband, anyway. I think it's more about being a husband, you know, church being a husband. Oh, well, 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 we'll just carry on with it anyway. So, as I say, I'll start again, basically. Is we've rebranded forgiveness as well as heaven, apparently. So, in short, we've got soul cleansing. Um, why can't it just be forgiveness? It was ever so. Oh, anyway, I won't start. So, if you want soul ablution, we've got the solution. Soul cleanser removes guilt without leaving any nasty stains. For terms and conditions, please read your Bible. Actually, there's no terms and conditions. There isn't any terms and conditions. It's a choice you make, basically. Not terms and conditions, no. I know that's what Genesis calls the Bible, but anyway, I won't get started. So, anyway, um, so, soul cleaner. Who came up with this? Oh, yes, the focus group. So, it sounds like a product, doesn't it? It's not going to be like one of these things, like deodorant or body spray or something. You get it in a tin. What, what smells would they be? Well, I don't know. It might smell of something, I suppose. Frankincense? the Oud wood? Um, something like that? I don't know. Um, hyacinth is rather nice. Uh, lavender? No, no we, can't, we can't start doing that. I, I think it's a bit stupid, actually. Um, anyway, I shall be having a word with Janice about that. Um, so, um, actually, uh, talking about frankincense, uh, it might interest you to know. I don't know if you know this. Or, or yourselves. Um, but that's actually the source of the Queen of Sheba's wealth. You might like to know. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, supposed to be mega rich at the time, she was. Yes. So, there we go. Go anyway. Um, so it's not a product as such. You can't sell forgiveness. It sort of defeats the object, really. Um, so uh, that that's it. That's the soul ablution. We've got a solution thing. Um, that so soul cleansing is basically um, the uh, new thing we're doing. Is the new name for forgiveness basically? Anyway. On with our first question. It's from Mr. Penchel from Grimsby, who asks, why won't my car start? Well, in short, um, I, I do believe it's the alternator um, that's causing the problem. So if you change the alternator there, Mr. Penchel, you'll probably be all right. Okay? You should be all right with that. Um, so next, uh, Abby Hargreaves of Barry asks, uh, is that a place or a name? Oh, a place anyway. Right, sorry. So, uh, Abby Hargreaves of Barry asks, I'm in a bit of a dilemma and was wondering if you could help me. My boyfriend cheated on me and I'm really angry at him, but I still love him. What should I do? Um, well, Abby, um, in short, you should try um, forgiveness as we just been talking. Oh, sorry. Soul cleansing um, for yourself and your boyfriend. What? You you wouldn't give him... Oh, I'm so sorry. Just one second. So, you wouldn't give him any chances basically you wouldn't have him back your wings are saying that they wouldn't have him back so you know everything do you a bit judgmental very judgmental actually um you always like butting in don't you so right so the advice from the wings is that you shouldn't take him back the advice from me would be soul cleansing then you turn from forgiveness so you could just move on um what you dump him well, apparently the wings wanted you to dump him but i would just encourage forgiveness as i say well soul cleansing this has been rebranded anyway um, so, in short, you've got a choice there. Follow the wing's advice and get shot of him, or follow my advice and just forgive him. And, you know, sort the situation out, have a bit of a chat, and then that uh, normally sorts things out, I find. Moving on, Douglas Fir Douglas Fertree. It's one of these fake names again. Douglas Fertree um, asks, it's not really any particular colour. That can't be right. It's not a question, it's more of a statement, isn't it? What? I don't know. Um, get um, Janice to send it through for me, please. It won't take long. Just one second. So, in short, Douglas Fairtree, um, Fairtree rather. Um, I don't believe that's your name. Oh, here we go. It's just come in. So, uh, Douglas Fairtree asks, why is space black? Um, well, frankly, it's not really any colour. To be fair, um, Douglas, um, if that is your name. Um, you've got to remember in 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 space that there's a lot a lot of light and there's also a lot of um, celestial bodies aren't there uh, no no not that sort of celestial but not kim kardashian I'm, I'm talking about planets like mars jupiter stuff like that galaxies and all that sort of thing you know, you're just like butting in you she's getting into the habit of butting in let me see so in short douglas uh, there's no real color 
to be discerned um, in space itself. Uh, the amount of light and the amount of bodies, celestial or otherwise, in space, um, basically cast shadows, so what you consider as dark space is actually no colour at all, but in essence it's sort of a lot of shadows from the light cast in light on other planets and bodies and all that stuff. Uh, and then the shadows from them fill the void, uh, so to speak, um, with a dark colour, but space itself is no discernible colour. It's a bit of... A bit of um, it's not translucent. It's no discernible colour, basically. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but Douglas, I do believe that answers your question. Um, anyway, what is Kim Kardashian doing today? Talk about her. I have no idea what she's doing. I know she's famous, but for what? I haven't got a clue. You don't know. I think she's just famous for pouting, basically. Anyway, I do digress. Um, so da, da, da. next, Hester. Oh. Hester La Vista. You don't get it. Hasta La Vista. Hester, oh dear, don't get it. Anyway, ah, oh, you got it now, right? So Hester La Vista asks, "I am wanting to be an actor to get rich or be famous, like Brad Pitt or Thomas Hardy or someone like that. Can you help me?" Well, Hester, in short, um, it depends for what ends you want to be famous, really, doesn't it? Um, if it's just to sort of swan around, feeling like you're important when people recognise you, even though you're unimportant, then I say no. Um, if, on the other hand, um, it's for philanthropic work and, you know, a bit of kindness and um, humanitarian work and stuff like that. Being a, a, like an advocate or ambassador for one of the United Nations um, bodies. Um, then I'd say, Hester La Vista, maybe. Oh, you got that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought it was rather good. Yeah, was rather quick-witted of me, wasn't it? Um, anyway, the next question is from Heather Macbeth, who asks, uh, no, I think that is her real name. Actually, yeah, I think that is her real name. Um, so she asks, when shall we three meet again? No, she doesn't. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She doesn't ask, when shall we three meet again? She says, um, what's the best type of cat litter? Why don't she just look in a supermarket? You can look in a supermarket, but from our advice, it'd have to be something that's relatively eco-friendly. Um, we don't like the acidic ones or alkali ones. They can, you know, be unfriendly to the environment. Um, we like um, the... Um, the um, what's it? Oh, well, we can't mention it into brand names, but basically, it's made from tree bark. Um, no, bark from trees. Why would it be dog bark? You can't make cat litter from dog bark. Dog bark is a sound. You can't make. It. I think they're just being truculent again. Anyway, so in short, the um, tree bark based type litter thing, basically. Um, works best but go to your local supermarket and other shops around you know hardware stores things like that um, and and they you, sh you should be able to get a good few ideas basically uh if, if you want that one that's eco-friendly the tree bark one right um so anyway yes janice for marketing has given me my things to reel off to you um so we've got a new thing it's called um, pass it on um you know um american football players and rugby players, now they sort of, you know, pass the ball backwards, don't they? Um, well, this is a bit like that. We're not passing it backwards, but we're passing it forwards, basically. Um, a bit like the Amer American expression, um, pay it forward. So it's in that vein. So uh, basically, I'll just read it. Um, so in essence, we grant you a blessing, which is sent to you, and you get a parchment saying something like, I got blessed. Um, which you can hang up on your wall. The idea is that you then pass the actual blessing on, not parchment. That's for you to keep. Um, so the, the, we've got a couple of slogans um, with this, basically. Um, God's the best. I got blessed. Um, is one of the slogans. Uh, and then you've got uh, the, the, the pass it on thing itself. And then there's another slogan about don't get stressed, get God to bless. Um, so basically... Don't get stressed out about things. Just ask and we'll throw down a blessing for you. And um, then, you know, you, you get this free parchment saying that, you know, um, you, you've been blessed, basically. And you keep that and then you're supposed to pass the blessing on. So if you get blessed for something like, um, I don't know, good health and you become well um, as a way of thank you and passing it on, um, you would then bless others. So they would be assured of good health, things like that. So it's called pass it on, basically. Uh, so, like we say, don't get stressed, um, get God to bless. Um, 
There we go. Uh, then we got the old dual song discount thing. Um, where basically uh, DSD for sure. It's it's oh, what is, what is it again? I, I'm losing track with these promotions. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, so we've got the dual sold discount, which is basically where you're assured of a place in heaven, and uh, then you get the reassurance that your loved one's going to join you in heaven. It's, it's for partners, basically. Um, and then also we've got the um, what's it? I've forgotten what it's called. What's it called? I'm ever so sorry. I should know this stuff by now. Ah, oh, right. Yes, it's a recommend a friend thing. So if you get if you recommend a friend for the dual sold discount, then basically you get one of these free blessometers. Joseph Swan um, came up with the idea, and Tesla sort of helped there. Um, keeps them busy in all bliss, you know. Um, so they they invented these blessometer things, and um, you get one of those. Um, which basically when you're feeling a bit low, uh, the blessometer helps you realize just how much you are blessed. Um, and so it goes like if you're really low and to show you your blessings and so you count your blessings literally uh, and then you see how well off you actually are which is kind of a good thing um so we've got the dual cell discount we've got pass it on we've got um oh, oh, oh absolutely so much here. it's absolutely ridiculous i've got to cram this all into the final bits as well frankly it's, it's quite stressful um and then there's the obligatory um uh, don't forget to like our facebook page um, you can also subscribe to YouTube. Don't forget to send um, your questions in either uh, by email, text message, letter, phone, prayer. This I prefer to do. There we go. Um, Morse code, semaphore. Are we doing them yet? Pigeon. So send your questions in. We love answering them. In fact, it seems that we're getting less and less with the questions and more and more the promotions now. Defeating the object, I think. It's called Ask God. You're supposed to be asking me, and I'm not supposed to answer them. Well, I think we'll have to get Janice involved with that. Tell that to the focus group. See how they like that. Uh huh. Anyway, so there we go. Until next time, peace be with you.